or say, hey guys, it's Klaus, let's do some map tactics. And today, let's talk about Westfield. Okay, so this is Westfield here. And uh, let's, it's hard to see on this display, but uh, let's separate the map into the high areas and the low areas. So you've, you've got a high area in the northwest. This is all high ground. And the, the ridge line, the edge of the high ground is something like that. Okay, and all of this is high ground. Then in the southeast, all of this is high ground. And that's pretty much the edge of it right there, running along there. And this is all high ground. And then there's a big valley uh, that connects the two bases like this. With a bridge that goes across, you can't drive across the bridge because it's out in a few So You can jump the bridge, but anyway, there's a bridge there. So there's high ground in the northwest and southeast and low ground in the middle. Okay, so now... Um, well, before we get into it, the high ground is for the people that want to win the game and the low ground is for the morons that want to lose. OK, just keep that in mind. And let's just uh, talk about the spawn. So when you spawn in the uh, southwest spawn, uh, for example, on this map, there's two places you can spawn here on the high ground or here on the low ground. All right. And the same with the northeast. You spawn either here on the low ground or here on the high ground. Now. Uh, let's just get right into it. You win the game on this map by winning this area here, the high ground on the northwest, okay? So let's start with southwest. If you spawn in the southwest area, if you spawn in the high ground, then go fight it out in the hills. If you spawn in the low ground, then drive up here and help the guys fighting for the high ground up in the northwest. If you drive into the middle, into the low ground here, uh, you're a fucking moron that has no idea how to play this game. And you should watch the rest of this video because you will just drive down here and die. Uh, or if you spawn down here and you say, well, I'll, I'll go this way and you go fight it over here. Well, then you're, you're not a, a moron. You're just you just don't know yet that this is where you help your team lose. OK, so when you spawn uh, in the southwest, if you if you go this way and, and fight it over, over here or if you spawn in the northeast in the low ground here and you drive up here uh, and you fight here, then you're basically helping your team lose. This is a, a linear fight. You got guys that spawn here, come up here, and they usually stop right about there. The guys that spawn here drive up here, and they usually stop right about there. And then they eye each other up here across this, uh, this empty area and wait all game and watch each other uh, to wait to see who wins this area. Okay. Now, there are some spots. If you go up here, you can shoot across. Uh, at people on the other side or if you go over here you can shoot across but basically all you do is you wait over here or if you're aggressive you, you know you spawn down here you come up this area and you actually move into these trees and there's some cover here and you fight it out with these guys uh, and you know you, you either win or lose in here and then what do you do uh, then you kind of sit here and wait to see uh, what happens over here okay there is some value to protecting this area but really the team that devotes a lot of tanks to this area loses. So if you want to increase your odds of winning and you spawn in the low ground here or here, then drive up to the northwest and help your team fight here. This is where the big boys fight. OK, so I should say that in the rare occasion that that, you know, a lot of your team does go uh, this way or this way and you fight and actually win here, do it quickly. And once you win here, drive across quickly and help these guys. Uh, the, the pitfall when you go to this southeast area is that you just sit around here and, and wait all game, right? The two or three tanks on each side that are here wait all game uh, on, and basically wait for this side to decide the outcome of the game. If you go down here, you know, in strength, win it, and then get across and help. OK, most of the tanks spawn in the high ground here or here. And if you head to this high ground, you can't see it on this map, but there's a series of ridge lines here uh, and it makes for very uh, good fighting right around in here along the ridge lines, winning the high ground. There's also some spots in the town here, um, which are very difficult when you if you spawn here and you go into the town or if you spawn here and you go to the town, you can fight other people that are in the town. Or you can you can shoot the guys that are on the edge of these ridge lines, but you can't shoot across. This is kind of high here, and you can't shoot across at, at all the tanks that are fighting here. All right. So the big fight is always in the northwest. 
whether you spawn from the southwest, you go to the high ground and, and fight here, or whether you spawn in the northeast, you go to the high ground. Now, the team that wins up here takes control of the whole, like, two-thirds of the map, all of this high ground then. You know, if you win up here in the hills, then you can push down into the town and kill everyone that's here, and then you have all the high ground, right? All of this high ground here. So whatever happens here, if you win up in the northwest, you can shoot across at those guys there, or if, if either side, if they're stupid enough, let's say, uh, you know, people come up here and they win, then, then what do they do? They drive down to your cap and sit in the open here. If you've won the Northwest, you've got high ground that you can shoot down at, at the idiots that go sit in the cap. Or if, you know, the team in the Southeast comes and they win this, uh, this high ground over here. And then what do they do once they've killed all the enemies? They drive down into the cap. Well, if you've won the Northwest, you have all this, these ridge lines in the high ground where you can shoot down at these guys in the cap. Anyone at the beginning of the game that just drives in the middle here is just going to die. So forget all of this, all of this valley area here. Just forget about it at the beginning of the game. It's like, you know, where the morons go to die. But it's, uh, it's the important area that you have to cross at the end of the game, um, depending what side you started on. So the guys that win this side, you know, when they have to mop th things up at the end, they might have to drive across. Uh, to kill the, the last remaining guys over here, or vice versa. Nine times out of ten, the team that wins the northwest high ground wins the game. Okay, but every now and then, you know, if you get a platoon or a bunch of medium tanks, they go down here and they win this southeast side. Well, yeah, you know, they, they come, they win everything, they come across. and get... One time out of ten, if you win this side, you win the game. Uh, there are some bushes right in here that people, you know, those Swedish TDs or people with good camel can go and just sit and wait to shoot across like this. But really, if you're just going to sit over here, uh, you're just supporting and you're not really helping your team win. So let's let's watch the game here. I'm going to spawn in the southwest in the low ground and I'm not a moron. So I'm immediately going to, you know, I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to go up and help the guys in the northwest. Just because you spawn down here doesn't mean you have to stay down here and, you know, go this way. Or just because you spawn in the low ground here doesn't mean you have to go here. You, you have tracks and an engine. And if, if you want to increase your odds of winning, trust me, go help win over here. The team that sends the most tanks to the northwest and wins this side controls two-thirds of the map. And nine times out of ten will, will, will win the game. All right, let's watch the replay. Okay, so like all the map tactic videos, I've made the minimap extra large, and I'll refer to it. Look at the minimap. See some spawn in the low ground and some in the high. I'm down in the low ground here and want to go fight up here on the minimap. You see these ridge lines in the northwest. That's where I want to go, all right? Hopefully most of the team fights here. Okay, so I'm spawning down here. I'm going to drive up north. Now some of my teammates are probably going to go here. So look at the minimap. And they're going to fight the enemies that are there, like they're going to stare at each other. That southeast corner, you see that on the mini-map? Let's forget about them, and let's concentrate on game. Let's see what happens here. Now, this isn't about me showing an epic game, you know, or look at me, I'm so great. This is like uh, the average game and uh, how you can increase your odds of winning. So look at the mini-map. Um, there's three of my team going. They're probably going to stop there. There's a couple of guys here that are going to be in these bushes here to shoot across. At whatever those three uh, spot right they can shoot across the valley like that you're looking at the mini map and those three are going to fight there now all the fighting most of the tanks are going to be in the northwest there all right and i happen to have a tank the stb1 with really good gun depression and i'm going to fight on this little ridge line here the one furthest to the left look there's a couple of see this little ridge line look at the mini map i'm pointing at it here so i can shoot the guys in the town on my left or on the hills on or in the town on my right or in the hills on my left, okay? So let's just see, there's there's enemies there. One, two, three, four, right? There's, okay, I'm gonna try and push this TD back. He's camping at the back. I can poke over the ridge line, shoot him. Hopefully he'll go away. There's two guys in the town, so now I kinda know where the enemies are, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm going to poke up. He's moved back, who should I shoot? I'm going to shoot the guys in the town. I'm gonna poke over here and take a bad shot, should have shot the turret, but I took a shot at the M103. 
And now when you play these ridge lines, you want to take a shot, maybe one or two shots. Okay, shoot his Coppola. And now he may be expecting me, so maybe I'll shoot the other guys. Should I take another shot on him? Let's take one more shot. That was bad. You know, I bounced. Now he may shoot me back. Should I'm pressing my luck here, taking the, shooting at the same guy, but uh, he's not doing too well. I've got two good shots into him. I'm just keeping an eye on people behind me. Uh, where is he? Okay, he's backed up into cover because I've scared him. And I can shoot the guys on the left. Okay, well, just look around here first. Is he going to shoot me? Uh, okay, going to poke over. He is behind cover. So I'm going to turn to my left. I'm going to shoot these guys. I'm going to poke this ridge line. And there you go. How do you like that? Okay, and pull back. So I'm playing the ridge line here, right? Let me take another shot on you. I just pull back. And all the, this northwest is where the fighting happens. I can take a shot. Is he pulled out? No, nope, he's still behind. Now look at the minimap. See these guys over here in the southeast? Look at the minimap. They're just eyeing each other back and forth. Let's take a shot on you. Yeah. The southeast is just eyeing. They've, they've moved to their spots, and they're just going to sit there and wait and see what happens uh, with us in the northwest here. Okay, let's keep shooting here. Just gonna just slowly play the ridge line and take some shots. Try not to get hit because it's still early in the game. And you see, we've got a pretty good uh, distribution. I'm gonna take a shot on him. Okay, so I'm, I'm shooting guys in the town and guys on my left, whoever I feel like it. Just keep looking left and right. It's, it looks like I'm a little bit confused here. I just don't want to get hit, right? Okay, pull out and take a shot on you. There you go. So I'm racking up the damage here. I think I'm up on around 2,000 damage. I'm just playing this little ridge line, right? Now look at the minimap. You see the guys in the southeast? They're still just eyeing each other up. Let's take a shot. At, okay, I took a hit, but I took out the prototype. So I'm doing my job here, right? I'm doing my job. And uh, if someone's pinging the map, just ignore the pingers, right? So the, the fighting here on the ridge lines is patient. Try not to get hit. Try and whittle the enemy down poke out here and that would I just muck that up completely I'm not a unicom right this is just a regular tactic video you can see what's happening all the fighting is happening here in the northwest and you can look down in the southeast see these guys in the southeast here they're still basically eyeing each other up no one's killed anyone there's three versus three and they're kind of you know it doesn't really matter what happens down there because whoever wins up here is going to control the whole map now I, I've done all I could on that first ridge line. I'm relocating here. I watch my teammate move up. So I'm going to see if this uh, Jagdpanzer 100 turns, and he does. So he's dead. Okay. All right. And now we are. It looks like we are winning this side. We're going to start moving in a little bit, and let's try and take a shot on him and a bounce. Okay. Okay. Bounce. Well, you know, shit happens. Uh, you know, I'm trying my best. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to every time I'm reloading, I'm going to poke up. I have no idea what happened with that shot. That's one of those, you know, shots that, that doesn't do anything. It doesn't bounce. It doesn't miss. And, okay, I'm just going to go in. Come on, team. Let's just take this one guy out. I went in. Hopefully everyone followed me, and they did. So now we've won this. And there's like four of us left, right? And we've got the enemy on the ropes here. I'll take a shot on you. And another one of those shots that, you know, disappears because that's how the game works. And now let's try and aim this one. Aim. And of course it misses because accuracy is very important, very important in this game. It's a, it's a critical factor. Let's aim that one again. Okay, we finally got that. All right, all right. So have we cleared this up? There's one guy left in the town there. And can I get, no, I do not get a shot. Now, see, we've won. Those guys in the southeast, uh, you know, the, we can move to these ridge lines now. Look at the minimap and shoot across. You see that? Those guys in the southeast are still mucking around. I mean, they went down there. They, they took their few little shots. And they're probably going to end up with six or seven or eight hundred damage, right? Uh, but did it affect the outcome of the game? Ah, you know, the team that won the Northwest, which is our team, now we can move to the edge of the ridge line here and we'll mop up the last few campers. You know, there's a guy that sat there all game. So what's going to happen now? We're just going to kill him. Here we go. There you go. Good job there, the Swedish TD. You were invisible till the end and now you're dead. So look at the minimap. You see that we won this area here, the most important area on the map, right? And then uh, I spawned down in the low ground there, but I moved up there. Then we won. We took out the guys in this town. We moved to the ridge lines and shot across. The guys that fought in the southeast there, eh, they did okay. But, you know, 
You don't do, you don't get it that much XP for doing okay. Now let's look at the post game. Just an average game, you know. Did okay. Uh, did good. Going on, uh, you know, and lost credits because that's how the game works. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Just a simple, basic uh, map tactic for the Westfield map. Go to the northwest corner of the map and win the high ground no matter where you spawn. And nine times out of ten, that's going to help the team win and give you the most XP uh, for your buck. And uh, if you enjoyed that, watch the rest of my map tactic videos uh, in the playlist on my channel called Map Tactics. I know, I know. It's a pretty original title. Hopefully you find uh, your favorite map in there and it helps you out a bit.